Hello everyone, this is GreyShot17 bringing you another Cup of Heroes 2 commentary. This time is once again a community replay brought to you by Lewis. Lewis was kind enough to send me uh, his replay, so I want to thank him for sending it in. Uh, he is of course the Vermok um, on the German side. This is a 3v3 on Rejtev Winter. One of the most divisive maps because of the fact that it's really a lot of times turned into like a, a stalemate type map but we'll see what happens um with him is actually two other individuals we have two let's see big falcon thank god for an easy name special operations and breakthrough with big snow so i'm guessing the two big guys are probably allies or something um mass as uh the soviets we also have stalin coming back um, apparently from the grave to play Company of Heroes 2, so nice to see him back. We'll see how this goes. And Abe, I think maybe I've versed this guy before. Remember this weird name with Abe? Maybe not. But of course, he's the American player, the only American player, and he goes the infamous rifle company. Now, as you can see, they've already pushed up. Stern Pioneers are taking this sector. Uh, most likely, he's going to try to push up, take this area before the enemy riflemen and forces can move up and try to take this point. Again, you need that fuel very, very quickly. But remember, the fuel is not connected by this point down here. You need this specific point to connect the fuel to your main HQ. If you don't have that point or this point, respectively, I don't believe you can get fuel because it's not connected. So remember that. Remember that. Uh, let's see. Rifleman and rear echelon moving in. Uh... Wow, okay. Took out one, but no cover. There. Wow, negative cover. That's why he's winning. Wow, you... Wow. Oh, wow. That should not have happened. If he would have put his guys in medium cover, I'm sure those Stern Pioneers would have met their poor, poor end. But more riflemen coming in, so Abe is not going down without a fight. Let's see, Lewis, what are you doing? Lewis is pushing to mid, and he's going... Wow, okay, Pioneers. No idea why you're rushing Pioneers. That's interesting. I'll give you that. But he's rushing Pioneers along with the Stern Pioneers. Uh, dude, you want to get closer? Because those Pioneers have very short-range guns. And, uh, well, while good, they kind of need to be a little bit closer. I like how the rear echelon are also moving in. More Pi- Oh, Stern Pioneer squad. Okay. Two Stern Pioneer squads. Wow, okay. This is interesting. And a support gun? Alrighty then. Uh, this is a weird intro. I've never... Okay, so I've never really seen a group really use all Pioneer squads and stuff like that. Is he going to try to block up this area? What do you have? Yeah, I mean, you still have barbed wire. You can... Or steel barricade. Alright, he's taking this point. They don't have this fuel. Nor do they have any of these points. Uh, this point over here. So I'm wondering what this Soviet player is going to do. Is he going to try to push in? Starred Rifleman coming up. Rifle Company. This guy barely alive, but guy's star, so, you know, worth it in the long run. Because now he has that anti-tank grenade. Alright, so this guy probably should be pulling down Barricade. Not be leaving his troops idle. Also, he got a support gun. That's a very interesting move to bring out the support gun so early in the game. Because, I don't know, you figure you need more infantry. And while this is a good counter against Blobs, I don't really see it as... I mean, I'll look, but I don't see it as really that effective against, well, individual unit squads moving up. Because it keeps going back and forth, and it may kill it, but maybe not. Especially if they come from multiple directions. Alright, this guy's apparently trying to do something. God knows what he's trying to do. Well, actually, I've never really seen... Right? Alright, so this guy's guard rifle combined arms. I, ever, I don't really see this doctrine all that much. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Stalin did go with special operations. He's a scout car. Wow, that's, they're actually pretty deep in enemy territory. He has the flamethrower 2 combo, so he has that. Probably should be saving up getting something else. Honestly. Maybe saving up for fuel to put down uh, to get AT and MGs or something. I don't know. He's probably be doing something with that. Saint, what's this guy doing? Alright, he's pulling down a fuel cache. Maybe that's what they're playing for. Stern Pioneer's coming up. My god. This might be the Pioneer episode, because it seems like all three of... Oh, yes, look, same thing. Stern Pioneers and a support gun. And Lewis has a ton of 
Pioneer squads plus Grenadiers moving up. Interesting strategy. I'll give them that. It's very interesting because they're not... Usually I see MGs and supports. And the fact that they're not doing that is refreshing. At least in my eyes. So... I'll, I'll give it it's different my question is is it going to be effective because uh, he's very the, he's very lucky the enemy team is also not doing that because as you can see the enemy team is sticking with uh again same thing where they're going base infantry and well you know for the open commando base infantry is their pioneers and then of course the scout car which is very very different but looks like Lewis is moving in with his gray deer he's going to panzerfaust that thing still alive still doing a ton of damage probably should turn if he wants to do some damage that conscript squad's dead. Multiple conscripts on the ice should probably get to cover. This guy's fall back. He got destroyed. MG 42 should do that. And a Rackenwerfer for Kettenwerfer. What am I saying? Which I'm gonna say did a little bit of damage. He just ranked up a little bit. Maybe not killed it, but I'll say did something. The problem is conscripts no cover. They at least don't have no cover, but they have MG 42s, and MG 42s will easily mow down those conscripts. Oh, looky here. He actually did pick something. And what did he pick? He picked Soviet Reserve Army. This thing is, um... How do I say this in the nicest way possible? Uh, it's good -ish. Uh, the problem I see... Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, the problem I... Oh, nice infantry blob. That's absolutely annoying because you have bars on it. See, wait, support gun. Oh, no, support, yeah, see the support gun? Wait, look, why am I pointing to the Fakette Morpher I do that? Uh, I don't know how many kills it's gotten. Okay, it's gotten two. Does he have an... Oh, there, yeah, there's the other one. But hey, it's at least doing something. More Stern Pioneers coming in. Uh, that other one's doing only some damage. This guy does not care. He's like, oh, this will be fine. He's probably going to lose that one. Probably should have retrieved it. But they're getting awfully close to the base. But he's going to fall back his... Ooh. Enemy destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Lost the squad. That sucks. But if this guy was smart... And, oh, by the way, a reason why Soviet regulars... They get really interesting weapons. And, of course, they can get, like, anti-tank grenades and stuff like that. They're interesting, but they're so easy to die because, again, they're... Uh, well, they're... They're just normal men. They're not really trained. They're worse than conscripts. Conscripts are like taking off the front lines, giving a week of training. These guys are like taking from their home and giving a gun like, yeah, let's fight. So even though they have MG42s, this guy is severely less armor and is going to die very, very quickly against these troops. They don't even stand a chance, as you can see here. Uh, yeah. And look, that's a free MG42, which now the Stern Pioneers or Grenadier Squad can take. Uh, looks like here that both Big Snow has two heavy sub guns. Let's see. Wow, Stalin is going heavy with the snipers and is at least look look at actually it looks like he's using sniper scouts. Very irregular game going on right now. Very regular. But hey, at least he's using that manpower. A T gun moving up, so he's finally bringing out that support. Conscripts moving back to front lines. Look at the other guy. The riflemen are back up and running with bars. That is terrifying because also they have. Pretty much stars, so they can take down any light vehicle. We look at Lewis. Uh, not much going on here. Maybe he's using... Oh, okay. This is what he's using it on. So he's... He may have actually done this to get all the fuel caches and whatnot. Rank up his men. That way he can try to blitz for a panther. Or a... Or a panzerwerfer. Or something like that. But now here's the thing. Four Ryman with bars versus two guys. At least these guys have heavy cover. But the point of the matter is there's just so many men. It's, yeah. He's very lucky that these guys are all here huddling by a fire. They're like, hey, is there a fight going on? Let me help. As you can tell, another squad was lost. And it seems like, okay, here's the thing. I would hate to, all right, so he's going to slowly move up with these sniper teams. He's using the flare to south to see the enemy. This is very... Anyway, so he's going to move up the sniper teams, most likely to take out these squads. Use the flamethrower to take out... I, I'm curious... Oh my god, there goes the squad. So, it looks like Stalin... Okay, two-star, nothing and nothing. And then we have... Nothing... Okay, so we have... Okay, we have an okay player and two really bad players. But three sniper teams. That is bold. 
That is very bold. Was that mine? Okay, maybe that was a mine. Storm Pioneer's here. This guy's been here this entire time, not doing much. I would... Okay, this guy has like 170 million power. I would have put down... I mean, he's probably going to get a Panzer Shrek here, but I would have put down some mines. Like, uh, right you here guys, would be perfect me, for a minefield. Um, these things can, act, it can make these uh, pretty much any type of minefield. Anti-tank, anti-infantry, but you can pretty much lay an entire area with these S mines that are fantastic. Just killing infantry. Uh, that Pioneer Squad just blew up. Or died. Or something. So, that's a thing. That's, I don't know. Um, Stalin, I don't know what you're doing, but for being a very high-ranked guy, putting all your resources into snipers and having them all linked up, probably not the best idea. That being said, these snipers are at least enough apart. Oh, wow. Take it out. Oh, wow. That's what I call sniper support. That's awesome. Never mind, Stalin. Never mind. Your return from the grave was interesting, to say the least. We have this uh, big rifleman squad from Aid moving up. Neutralize all those. They have a captain, so he has AT, or at least more effective AT. Do any of them have tanks? This is really interesting. It's 12 minutes in, and no one has built tanks. They have almost a dot being made, so that means he has a Panzer headquarters being done. What is that? That is anti-tank rifle. That's nice. Looks like they have their own artillery from the T gun, doing a little bit of damage. PPSHs with conscripts, very nice for short range. I'm not, I mean, that'll be good for like Angermude or Edelbrook Station coming around a corner. Um, or just like you give it Blitz. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Oora, and it just rushes up to the enemy and does it. Right now, it's not exactly the best because it's not doing all that much damage until you get really close. That being said, this Panzer Headquarters is going to protect those guys. Although, a nice little Molotov will do some damage and probably kill that Vaket and work. There it goes. Although, any further and those two are going to die, so I would really fall back. Yep, if you're wondering what just happened, he used his Force Retreat, which made these forces, of course, retreat. Um, oh wow. Okay. So, it looks like the Soviet player is tired of their mass infantry. I don't want to say mass infantry, but probably their blobbing. And he's probably going to do it. That being said, I am really surprised that they are not pushed back. Like, in this type of scenario, GT would be like, Oh, guys, we're doing terrible. Let's quit. And by the way, GT, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying what's, you know, normally do. Um, oh, but it looks like they're countering. Oh, okay. So this is firing. And this general for saying, trying to kill these support guns, which have a couple kills. Respectively. Oh, will it hit it? Will, what? That Katusha, though. That Katusha is just being blindsided by Obel Sadatin. Showing rear armor and is going to get annihilated. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Obel Sadatin are the, probably the best infantry in the game. Equipped them with SG-44s, and oh my, are they terrifying. But anyway, unfortunately, Katusha has no armor, so one easy shot can take it out. Panzerwerfer, I think, has more armor, but not by much. Same thing with the Stuka. Anyway, as you can see, this is light infantry. This is heavy, and it's just going to be annihilated. Does even have to flinch. Both one star, too. That's that's bad. Um, so they'll start to retake that area. But, that being said, there's an entire rifleman blob moving in, and all, along with another Katusha coming up. I would say Mass needs more infantry. Um... Same thing with Abe. Well, Abe has a lot. I would say... Wow, is he getting another captain? He's getting another captain. These guys are doing stuff... Uh, okay, whatever. Point of the matter is, he's almost done and got to run for it. Oh, I would grab that. MG42. Instantly. Run with the bars. Just more, just more firepower. My fear right now is he's acting like a giant blob like one good strike will neutralize these guys anyway we look at uh lewis and lewis seems to be saving up most likely he's going to save up for some type of a festing uh, i don't know i'm guessing a panther nice artillery pulling his forces back wow what is stalin doing stalin has four snipers and he is just guarding that area 
If any single squad moves in there, they will instantly die. Guaranteed. There's so many snipers right there. If they all hit, wow. That's a no-go. That is a no-go area. And this guy knows it. He's keeping all of his trucks back. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm not going to focus on my area because that's, uh, that's sniper heaven. I'm going to focus over on the American side. And meanwhile, the Americans are countering by equipping all their bars. Uh, bars are probably equal to the MG42, although uh, just for the American side. But look at that. They're just tearing apart this infantry. And again, it's a nice... They have more troops, more MG42s, and just higher vet. Now, here's the question. They don't have a tank, so they're going to probably have to fall back. They did lose a couple bits of infantry. Let's be honest, there's a lot of dead bodies right now, so everyone lost something. And if I was that guy, I would, I, if I was any of them, I would start being like, you know, a tank is probably a good idea right about now. Especially the Soviets. Like, look at this, Soviet, Stalin. You're, you're doing great, fantastic. Get yourself, get yourself an engineer squad. You have five sniper teams. What are you doing? God, I was going to call this game the Pioneer Squad game, but maybe I should call it Sniper Alley. Five sniper squads. Man. Okay. I, the, all right. I'm always worried about games where it's like, is it going to be interesting enough? Is it going to be good enough? Well, I'll say this. You have it. Because, see, even though this is a great, big, powerful unit, if he walks into Sniper Alley, boom, 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 all of his squads, are, all of his units are dead. And before they even have time to react. That being said, you can send a, a tank and just chase all these snipers while they run back to base with an MG42 on top and just kill all the snipers. That's the risk. Because they are greatly unsupported. We have a Katusha Strike trying to take out the Panzer Headquarters, doing some damage. But probably all those stern pioneers will just walk over and be like, I'm going to heal. But as I uh, said, these guys, the reason why they're so tough is they have the SG-44s, which is why they're so effective. Now, this guy is a Katusha. He's like, oh, I fire. Forgot about the Panther. And this is why you need to have armor, ladies and gentlemen. Because otherwise, the enemy will just rush back with their tank. I'll say this. Nice retreat with the thing. They'll just rush back with your tank, go right back in enemy territory, and follow. He's just going to follow that Katusha, and look, they have nothing. Maybe they'll throw some, some uh, AT grenades, but honestly, I would chase it. Like, does he have AT? Yeah, he does. Okay, so maybe not. Oh, look, he's going now. He's like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. But now he's going in, and now he's regretting it. Okay, thank Christ, someone got tanked. Finally, someone on the Allied side got a damn tank. Look, someone on the sniper team died. Probably from the almost or Dotten or something. If I had to guess. The American player is coming over to resupport their Soviet allies. Nice phosphorus charge. We'll weaken this infantry down. Oh, okay. Oh, that's smart. So pretty much use the phosphorus. Bring them down to such low health that the American come come in and just use the bars and take them out. Stupid move. Walk into your own phosphorus. That way you can't move and all these SG-44s can easily take out your men. I'm surprised you did not lose the squad. But guess what? They have now have an MG42 and a bar to grab for their own troops. Also, you have so much munitions, mines, demolition charges. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's what happens when you have SG44s and you line them up with retreating infantry. Wow. Wow. There goes Abe, and Abe with? Is Abe, uh, yeah, Abe is, Abe quit. 1911, okay. Wow. That, oh boy. And, uh, that was probably their best hope for winning this right now. Honestly. I am, okay, I am really going to be surprised why you guys can't move up. Just send your tank. You have a panther. You have three panthers. Go over and kill those snipers. It's not hard. Get your MG42 and run those snipers over. It's not that hard. Okay. 
That was an awesome assault on them. I feel bad. That made me feel bad for that infantry. Wow. Sniper team's gonna have to retreat. See what I mean? MG42 doing a lot of damage. He didn't kill the squad though. He's buttoning it. Doing a little bit of damage. I think he's buttoning. Is he buttoning? That's a sniper. Guards running, that's why. Okay. Oh wow, easy eight on the ice. <laughs> that's awesome. Stern Pioneer. Alright, get off the ice. See, this is why I don't like an AI, because AI is not smart enough to realize that it's on the ice. And should probably get off. Okay, maybe not. He got to cover. Major moving up. Instantly died. Sometimes I think the AI got an upgrade, and then other times I'm like, AI is not the brightest. At least he got the AI. I mean, at least he's trying to help. SU-76. Why you get SU-76? At least you're getting men. I'll give you that. At least you're getting armor of some kind. What is... Oh my god. SU-85. Long range king that thing. Along with the SU-76. If they... If that thing dies... Wow. Wow. Okay. Now for the flank. Because guess what? All this is long range. Not close range, really. Oh, look. Infantry moving up. And guess what? All of them have AT grenades. This might be bad if he throws it. He's not throwing it. Oh, SU-76. Come on. Come on. Take it out. Take it out, sis. Oh, my God. Take it out. Come on. Neutralize it. Take oh, so close. So close. And you didn't neutralize it. You suck. Nor did you... Okay, hold on. You never threw AT grenades. You're... Oh, my God. Mass, come on. You... Oh, wow. You're an idiot. Anyway, so... Two Panthers somehow survived that. Don't know what they do. So, Lewis, let's see how you're doing. You lost your Pioneer squads. You lost your Grenadier squads from the Rifleman earlier. Um, And now you're down to a little bit less. Looks like they're using artillery from the SU-76, which I believe can do it for free. Yeah, it's just you. Yeah, it's just activating it, which is really, really nice. Um, it's a good overall like light support unit, like light tank. It'll it'll definitely kill anything that's lightly armored, and it, like and it'll definitely do a lot of damage to infantry if for like single strikes. It's not, however, that great for versing a panther. Or a Panzer IV, unless supported. It can do some shots to a Panzer IV. Just don't expect this thing to be like, oh, I'm going to make five and just own the battlefield. No, it's like you build one, and that's what you kill an MG nest with. Oh, wow. Very nice. Put up a uh, pretty much... A, if they come into this territory, they're going to explode, essentially, with that. Booby-trapped the territory. Anyway, look here, and it looks like Mass is trying to push in. AI support, which is actually pretty smart because this thing is so close to dying, it's not even funny. Why would you back up? Oh my god. AI, come on. Move up. No? Yes? Okay, you're going to move up and this tank will flank you. See, why Why'd you wait? Why are you showing your rear armor? Come on, Lewis, kill it. And main gun destroyed, and that's all but dead. Smoke, maybe? Oh, wow. That... Okay, that was actually a move that was actually pretty smart. I think that AI was, like, just trying to do a quick heal. But still, at least that was smart enough to be like... Oh, okay, that way the panther couldn't target it. His panther's back up and running. You guys are still losing, which is curious. Snipers are over here. He lost another squad, but he's getting closer to another one. I mean, just start up and ranking them up. Uh, SU-80, SU-85 is up the wazoo. They can build artillery as well. I'm not sure how effective that would be on this map. I mean, they have over-commando players. That will be good for taking out their emplacements. But most of the emplacements are in their base. So, or near their base. So, we'll see what that ha I mean, like, a lot of people will usually put near the fuel 
but I guess the, these guys were like, well, they could possibly have a B4, so we'll keep it back. I'll at least say this. Lewis, you're pretty smart because you built a pack. Um, I saw, I thought I saw you had an AT, but you built a pack. Problem, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just so you know, jump here, jump here, flank around, satchel, demolition charge, satchel, demolition charge. So if you ever see this, also, attack priority vehicles. Also, what about here? Because while it's protected by infantry, um, for the most part, what about tanks? I like how this thing moved up, and yeah, it just got destroyed by the Sadatan. Um, looks like he has that line to protect himself from enemy vehicles. I do like this utility car coming up to help. At least the AI is trying to help. Multiple Panthers. However, an SU-85 can't really fight the Panther. Like, especially multiple Panthers? Ah, uh, so that line just cracked. And he better fall this thing back, cause, well, I kind it's kind of nice to have that uh, two star, cause then you get the uh, improved damage output and accuracy. Oh boy, we have an ar artillery assault coming in. Idiot, it's coming in here. It's not going in here. So where you need it. Also, AT grenade. Oh my God, AT grenade. Come on, people. This isn't hard. At least you were smart enough to do the, re the the blitz out of there. Okay. And you're dumb enough to go in there with three SU-85s. All right. Going in there with a tank that is doesn't have a stationary gun is one thing. But going in there with a tank that does have a stationary gun, oh, wow. That can be very, very stupid very stupid because all it needs to do is get all of its buddies in circle and guess what you can't tango with a tank that can go around you while you're stuck looking at multiple angles and dying so I am actually really surprised this game is going on this long honestly because all they need to do is send a bunch of their panthers right crack it and then they win at least they, at least Lewis is smart to build Pack 43. Is he building another Pack 43? Okay, remember what I said? What stops the uh, tanks from coming through this way? Another Pack 43 will stop the tanks from coming through. That being said, why you would need another one is beyond me. Man Panther leadership. You never... Huh. There's a command panther? Oh, very nice. I didn't even notice. Oh, I didn't even notice that was a command panther. Well, very nice. Double panther, almost a dot moving up. Very well supported. And can probably take on a lot of different types of units. That being said, this guy's once again trying to move up with the SVD-5. But the flank of the command panther and the pa normal panther, which is a new star. Very, very nice. Armored, is that not really armored skirt? But pretty much they'll own these units and the Oval Sadatin uh, with the SP-44s will clean up the AT and any type of infantry moving up to kill it. That was an excellent strike. Neutralized lots of forces including the SU-76 and now they essentially have nothing. There's some type of Okay, why you would use that is interesting. Also, um, you have two pack 43s, which I'm saying congrats. Very nice job. You also have a bunker, which I'm guessing you're saving up for for an MG. Why you, Lewis, you would use a railway right there is beyond me because there's nothing really there. And railway, I would see for specific targets like looking at their base, seeing their healing, and firing it down. Or maybe buildings but yeah I will say this Stalin is being a wow in, in case they say like oh Stalin's not helping me out Stalin is pushing them all the way to their base whether it's because they're ignoring him or because he's actually a threat remains to be seen but he does have a lot of kills with snipers and he's actually holding them back he's doing so I mean 
Big Falcon is not over there. He's pushing all his forces over here. I don't know if that's in retaliation. Lewis doesn't have all that many forces. And we'll go over to this guy. He doesn't have all that many either. That being said, Stalin has probably the most out of the entire group. Yep, he does. So he's doing something right for that to happen. Well, looks like they're going to push in once again. Or not. Just go into the water. Why not? SU-85 doing what it does best. Firing a tank long range. You better have... There we go. Free fire on that vehicles. That will be targeting the Command Panther. Definitely be helpful. Why would you move in? Stop. Stop. Don't. Don't. Oh, my God. You know that they... Okay, maybe this is the first time you see a Pac-43, but you know they have Panthers. So why would you sacrifice your unit? Okay. What? Well, also, why do you keep getting these units? You know they keep dying. Okay, thank Christ you finally use AT grenades. You have enough AT grenades? More AT grenades. Use all the AT grenades. All the AT grenades. Use them all. You're not using any. You're not using any more. Keep throwing them. Keep chucking them. You have over 300 munitions. Just keep it up. Oh, wow. You could have you could have destroyed that. You could destroy the engine and just annihilate that thing. Looks like Stalin's here to save the day. He's pressing on the enemy base. That's how close this guy is. He could literally turn his tank here and start shooting the enemy base. That's how close he is. Wow. And... Let alone the AI and the other uh, Moss is being curb stomped. That being said, Stalin's he has a bunch of SV5s, which are nice. Look, like I said, he's attacking the enemy base. Black emplacement will probably die very shortly. Panther moving up, uh, man, moving up. Yag Tiger moving up. SU-85 is doing what they do best and neutralizing a Panther. I'm sorry, Lewis, but, I mean, I don't know if you didn't know, but... Oh, boy. They, they have multiple Panthers. I mean, he has multiple SU-85. Looks like he called in a Sturmovic strike, which is good against infantry, not so much against vehicles. Um, Stalin just got curb stomped because they just realized he's in the base and is moving everything in. Um, including a Yag, uh, Yag Tiger, which will automatically destroy any SW-5. Why are you chasing it? You're literally going to be surrounded by tanks. Stalin, you are both one of the smartest and stupidest players I've ever seen because you're smart and by the way, you push them all the way to their base. You're stupid because you literally send in tank destroyers into an enemy base that can only fire one direction and can barely turn to save their lives. And you get curb stomped. And you're wondering why. The fact is replay is not over is really surprising. I'm just gonna... Oh, God damn it up. Fast forward a little bit. Pack 43 did not do its job. Again, this is why you mine, barb, all this stuff. If you just have a normal pack 43, it's not going to help you that much. You, that way you support it, and you put like mines, barbed wire, tank traps. You, you, you funnel them into a choke. That pack 43 will neutralize those targets. You allow them to go, and well, anywhere they want, and the pack 43, while well, big gun, will just be sidelined. Panthers moving up once again. Neutralizing AI at least saving his, uh, saving his vehicle crew. AT doing a little bit, but all that much. Not really, all that much can help it. It's sending over more AI, sending force over to help. Not sure why. Well, Pan I'll give them that. There's Panthers. At this point, dude, move up. Just move up. Because at this point, the AI is, I mean, like, the allies are still winning. Like, they're pushing you down. What? Oh, ally T-gun, okay. Why these guys won't go in for the, sorry, Lewis. Why you, Big Snow and Big Falcon won't go in for the curb stomp? I know. Because <sighs> you did just neutralize all the guys' S-85s. You, you know, like, I'm not trying to be mean, but when... When an enemy 
when an enemy loses so many of their forces, you can just add up and like, okay, let's use, uh, oh, alright, we'll, we'll look real quick. And you also have Moss have 900 manpower. Uh, please, conscripts, maybe some AT, MGs would be helpful, who knows, from the Oval Sadatan. Paint them for you so you can do shit. Oh, okay, artillery, because that will work. Because an artillery gun, well, at least maybe neutralize the 43, but that's not your big deal. Oh, wow, please don't be, are you, no, 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 no. Oh, don't. Oh, wow. Okay, demolition charge is smart. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Okay, close up. All right, you're firing close up. Sure, why not? Neutralizing attack 43, but why that close? I'll give you I'll give you credit. At least you're using the the blizzard as cover, but you are very lucky that pack 43 didn't just start knocking you out. Never mind. Pack 43 just knocked you out. That's why. My fears are not Oh wow. So the pack 43. Yep, pack 43 just shot it. That's why the health dropped so much. Okay, so once again, I would say excellent movement with the Panthers in neutralizing their equipment. I, okay, and Big Falcon, I really do enjoy your Obo Sadatan squad because they are literally just mop-up crew. Like, you have 27, 15, 18. Yeah, you're neutralizing a ton of enemy forces. Also, Panther neutralizing artillery with the key just wasting 600 manpower on. I, I don't like this artillery. I really don't. I see a lot of people make a ton of this artillery, and their idea is to just start neutralizing big blobs, stuff like that. It can be effective. I just find it most of the time not. I prefer over a Katusha, the Panzerwerfer, the Stuka, and the B4. Why? Because it's a single artillery shot. It's one main thrust of artillery that's hitting an area. It's not over a period of time. Because if you do it over a period of time, I rem I'm, I'm, I'm like reminded of like Gettysburg or Pike's Charge, where it's like they kept firing artillery for so long that it didn't. At, at, for I think it was like two hours they fired artillery with all the art art artillery guns. Um, but are oh, there cannons? Sorry, um, artillery. But it, it's the same principle where you keep firing it. They're not just gonna go in that area. They're just gonna be like, okay, we'll wait. Alright, it's done. Okay, we know where they're coming from. We know where there it is. And it's just like, okay, and then they moved up and it failed. In this case, using artillery to hit an area, they'll just move away from the area and then just go back when it's done and just like, oh, we cleared it. And then there's also the fact that artillery might not work. Was it Normandy? The allied ships fired so many artillery rounds on the beaches thinking, it'll be clear. We, got, we destroyed those bunkers. No, it didn't work. I do like how this guy's like, maybe our AT guns is the best way to go right now, because I don't exactly have... Never mind, he does have the fuel. I don't know why he's going plain AT guns. Honestly, he needs some good AT, uh, not AT, anti-infantry, because these almost sedan squads. My god, will they just keep rolling up? If he has, like, a big, like, swath of AT, all it's going to do, all these guys are going to do is just roll up and neutralize him. Look at this. They have nothing. They have no major AT. It's just literally eating infantry at this point. Like, okay, you're done. You're done. Even the MG is having an issue taking him down. Okay, at least they got Stuart, which, again, AI, so AI doing AI things. He's still pressing up. He's still killing forces, throwing a grenade. And, yeah, pretty, pretty much bringing that MG down to barely any health. So, yeah. Oh, look, Stuart going out. I wonder what's going to happen to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get you want to build artillery to kill this, but that close, not worth it. Something's coming down on these guys. White phosphorus. 
it will weaken the infantry down to no health, but they can just walk back and then walk forward. Because they're not a threat. They don't need to fall back, even with low health. The Panthers are pretty much pushing the infantry back. And so far, the SU-85, while doing some damage, didn't kill the Panther. Oh wait, did it get this kill the Panther? Come on, Lewis, fall back. Lewis, it's bounced. It probably won't bounce again. Fall back. Lewis, it, uh. Okay. Yep, barely in range. They're gonna fall back. Still have the Ag Tiger. Very nice. And Big Falcon has a bunch of tanks. Oh, wait, does he have a... Oh, nice! He got Panzer IV. Okay, so why would... I'm sorry, a Panzer II. Why would you get a Panzer II in this situation? Simple cleanup. At this point, I wouldn't say... I. Why? Okay, never mind. Wow, that was a waste. But I was thinking, okay, maybe he's going after the snipers. Or, like, it. Because that, that's what you need. A Lukes will destroy sniper teams. They'll just fall all the way back to base. I am so dumbfounded why... These guys, who are owning, by the way, who are literally destroying this enemy, is not pressing into this area. Okay, now they are, but it took them so long. Also, why Stalin doesn't have infantry support, because AT guns, while they have a couple guns, and they can do a little bit of damage, can't exactly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with normal forces. I like how this Sturm officer, though, has an MG42. That's pretty funny. Oh, my God. An engineer squad with a goddamn MG42 from an Oberstadion squad. That's even better. That's priceless. Wow. That's that's pretty funny. Wow. Okay. Sacrifice itself for the greater good. Artillery round. Falling back to that officer, and now they can move up. I would highly recommend Stalin because you have nearly 700 munitions. For whatever reason, to mine and demo. Mine and demo. This is why I would say recommend over here as well. Mine and demo. When they send the Panthers in, that way they are stuck. They can't do anything, and you can neutralize them. Because that's your biggest thing. You're not using your munitions. Okay. I said earlier how I think Stalin was a good player because how he using the sniper teams. I'm going to scratch that out and say he's a really dumb player now. Because he has so many AT guns right now. I can't wait for this to backfire on him. Because I know it's going to. Oh, I Sorry if I'm being very negative on this game. I'm, I just nitpick. And I nitpick on myself. So I do that quite a bit. But I'm noticing these guys. Neither side is learning from their own mistakes. And it's, it, it gets really... It's really obvious. Uh, for example, uh, it's an AI, so I can't blame the AI. Mass. You keep bringing out these infantry units, plus you keep bringing up these tanks. Look at the line of SU-85 you have here, of tanks, holding back the mid. Yet, again, they keep flanking you here and killing you. Wow, is that free? Anti-tank rifle. Okay, I picked that up. Because these other sedan squads just keep murdering the infantry, honestly. Wow, okay, that was a nice fragmentation. Well, it, nope, and he falls back. We look at uh, Stalin. Stalin, you are... You, oh, boy. I wonder if you built the AT gun to help, which is nice. But literally, you are spamming. You are literally in the same situation you were before. But now you have, instead of SW-85s, you have AT guns. You're literally almost in the exact same uh, situation. Except this time, instead of the infantry can't do nothing, they can literally do it quite a bit. And you're very lucky that these squads are here helping you out. Okay. Lewis, yeah. Lewis, um, probably supportive. Um, I would probably say the fact that you, you pay a little bit more attention to your units. You're still doing good. You're still doing good. And I'm very thankful you sent me this replay because you can highlight this stuff. But, yeah. 
you should pro like you guys should probably be pressing on this area, honestly. I love how he's calling it, I think, a thermitic strike to kill these squad. Yep. He's like, I don't have infantry, let me just call in the strike. These MG 42s coming in most likely to help himself out. AT fighting up Sadatan, it's not gonna work. Yeah, they're losing quite a bit. Honestly. That's 85. That's why I don't really go these doctrines. I, I'm not I'm not seeing how this is very effective helping you out. Either of you two. Um I know some people might say, oh, this doctrine's great for neutralizing fuel, but then you're wasting 190 million power. Uh, this doctrine's good because you get to hit the dirt, but you can just get to cover, honestly. Thermic Strike is great, we can get that other commanders. At least the Blizzard's hiding the Panther and the AT guns over here. I love the demo charge too, at least he's doing something with it. And the AI and at least the Moss, or at least hope somehow, I have no idea how. Honestly, I have no idea how they're actually like holding back these guys, because they really don't have that many tanks and forces. The AI has a steward. Right, you have two Panthers. I'm sorry, it's a mortar carriage. It's a mortar carriage. <sighs> Looks like Lewis is going to try to push back. AT guns are barely in range. Probably should fall this thing back if I was him. As soon as you start taking fire from stuff, I move my stuff. I move my. I try to move it back. Because, yeah, Panther has great front armor, but yeah, you could be very unlucky in the old Pierce. Lewis, if you lose this tank, I am losing all faith. <sighs> okay. Okay. Honestly. If the allies weren't so stupid. Oh, wow. Like, really? Lewis, you have so much manpower. Just start, just start, like, getting panzer grenadiers. Just start getting, like, infantry. MGs, AT guns, normal M AT guns. Just line up the line, push up. Wow. Big Falcon got a flak. Pretty smart. Well. If it wasn't for maybe a bunch of AT guns currently literally next to your base. Panther moving up. Once again, Big Falcon comes in. Okay, looks like all of them are coming in. And this is why AT guns are not good for a frontline, like, spam. Because just get infantry and, wow, will you see them disappear very, very quickly. And there goes all of the AT guns. I'm fast forwarding a bit because it's getting ridiculous. This is just... Yeah, there goes the mortar carriage. This is getting sad right now. So, while the in while the beginning was good, and I have to, I will say this: at least the uh, was it the big Falcon guy is actually being pretty smart. I mean, look, he has great uh, survival. Uh, pretty much, he's keeping his unit alive. Which is very very hard to do. But look, si 61. Like, hold on, hold on. We'll get. We'll wait for these things to come back. The Ag Tiger has 15. Oh, five vehicles. Not bad. It looks like the the big snow guy and the big falcon guy are at least cooperating. Pretty effective, helping each other out. 
it seems like one is going uh, support in one way and the other one's trying to do its own thing. Um, 39, 30, 61. Yeah. Once again, Stalin comes up, grabs some of his stuff. We'll see what happens. Getting a lot of guards troops. Stuka neutralizing him with Panzerwerfer. And he has a ton of fuel, but not much else. Oh no. He's gonna... Yeah, it, by the way, if you have SG-44s and enough troops, they'll just tear through MGs. Please don't. Please don't blow up. Oh no. Don't get revenge. Oh my. Okay. Meantime, moving in. Whatever they got. Take it. Oh, thank Christ. You're staying away from it. Don't give Stalin the... Like, Stalin, go back to your grave. Don't give him the... Oh, wow. Oh, please stay away from it. Please stay away from it. Okay, you're away from it. I'm more interested in Big, Fa uh, Big Falcon's own units than I, I, than I am. Like, his survivability. He has 3,000 manpower. And he's not because he's stupid or he's bad. He does, has it because he literally can't bring any more troops in. They're recapping this area, which they should have done a while ago. But, I mean, I guess I would say at least hold up to here. Like, you don't have to go all the way to their base. But if you don't want to overextend yourself, I get it. But they have nothing there. All right, they have a couple tanks left. Not much. He, they're just holding here. Pack 43 still alive. That's pack 43. And we're going to end it on Whimper. Okay. Thank Christ. This game's over. Um... Wow. Okay, so Lewis. Lewis, okay. First off, thank you for sending me this replay, but Jesus Christ, please fall back your units. If your units are under fire, just fall them back. Don't don't leave them out there. I like how we at least you sent a bunch of grenadiers to actually support. That's fine. At least you're not you made up for it in the end trying to make it up. So I'll give you that. And thank you for the replay. But wow. What is your idea of spam with these Soviet irregulars? Like, seriously, don't use them. Like, honestly, especially spam-wise, they're terrible. You will lose 10 out of 10 times versus Opa Sedan, which I will give MVP of this game to Big Falcon. Probably, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give it to Big Falcon. For his four-star Panther, which got quite a bit of kills, 11 vehicles destroyed, and his other Panther. I'll, I'll give you MVP. Big Snow did pretty well. My, oh boy. I, I am just very, very surprised. Oh, look. This Panther, 19 kills, 2 stars, 4 vehicles. Still pretty good. Worst player. Hands down. Like, Stalin and Moss. Wow. And it's funny because rank, you would think these two would not be anywhere close to being similar. And yet they were. And don't get me wrong. This guy's a ton of damage. Honestly, he does. But he, again, I'll, I'll pull that back up. He lost so much infantry. So much. And I will at least give credit to the AI. Like, oh, it's an AI. The AI, if you notice, will lose a ton of infantry. It will lose, I'm sorry. It'll, yeah, sorry, this is Stalin. Lose, it will lose a ton. But just the spam and how, your method, Stalin, it's just like, what were you thinking? Honestly, what were you thinking? But, yeah, that's uh, that's a replay. Uh, I, actually, before we go, I would just want to see Big Falcon. I want to see his personnel. 22,000, 23 kills. Never lost a Panther. Very, very interesting. Almost a dot 175 kills. That's awesome. So pay attention to Big Falcon. Do what he did. Try to keep your units alive. Vet them up, and you'll do just fine. Again, you may not have a ton of units, but you have very, very vetted up, very strong Obol Sadat units. Inter wait, increased fitness means squad can move more quickly for prolonged periods of time. Advanced combat during survivability allows them to activate fire suppress. To suppress enemy infantry. Wow. Enables them to heal themselves over time when out of combat. That's really, really cool. I, I don't think I've seen a 5-star with Sadat in some time. Anyway, that's game. 
Well, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you want to send a replay, you can do so on my Facebook. Uh, go to Great Shot Productions, send it via message with a short description. Make sure it's good. I'm questioning this one right now. I'll say the in the beginning was good, and I'll take a look at it. In any case, thank you guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.